Hi everyone, I'm David. Welcome to another edition of Changing Times. Today's guest is Liz Forshaw. She is a training provider and entrepreneur. We're finding out of how the pandemic and lockdown has affected her business, lifestyle and family. So please enjoy and stay safe. Hi Liz, how's things? Oh, good, thank you. Really good. How are you? I'm really well, really well. The weather's turned nice, so that's good. Yeah, always a plus. <laughs> it is, it is. So, first of all, tell us exactly what you do. Basically, um, I own a brain training academy. I'm a um, coach, mentor, and an NLP practitioner and study psychology. So, basically, I help people to be their best self. Um, help people rewire their brain, change the thought patterns, um, help people with the likes of goals, um, strategies, vision, clarity, finding purpose, that type of stuff. We do like workshops, retreats, and um, we've just launched workbooks on Amazon. We also have like the children's side as well. We do the same for the children. As That's it's brilliant. Happening. So I'm sure at the moment with the whole pandemic and stuff, your services have really come into it down yeah well to be honest um what we've just done is we've just launched two free programs one for children and one for adults and it's 10 workshops and each workshop has a video and a set of worksheets to go with them so people can basically go on and whatever they're struggling with maybe they're struggling with routine or anxiety maybe the children are struggling with confidence and they just choose which workshop they want and they can do that for free online so it's been great that we've been able to make that available for people during this time that's brilliant. That is really good. So how would you say the pandemic and what's going on has affected your business? Um, well, obviously, we can't do anything face to face. So any workshops and retreats that we have booked in have had to be postponed. Um, but if I'm being totally honest with you, um, it's given me a kick up the backside because I'm not procrastinating. So I've been able to sit there and get the content together because, to be honest, everything's all in my head. Yeah. So it's like sitting down and getting it out, I think, is the hardest part. So we've set like weekly challenges throughout this time to um, bring new content weekly with new workshops because I know that the people need it. Yeah. It's made me do it. It probably would have took me a, long, a lot longer. If we were in our everyday normal type of thing, but obviously you haven't got the procrastination of I'm just going to go and meet blah blah for a coffee or you know as we do. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's made us it's made us deliver. That's fast. Brilliant. What about lifestyle and family? How has it affected all that for you? Um, well, I live alone and I've got no children. Um, obviously, I'm not able to go out and do the things that I would normally do, but I'm quite um, introverted anyway. So I quite enjoy my own company. I have me, I have my own routines. Um, so if I'm honest, it, it, obviously I want to go out and I miss people, yeah. meet, meet my family, and I miss my friends. But I've just looked at it as it is what it is, and I've done a planner of when it's going to end, and yeah. I've put what can I do during this time to make to prepare for when we do come out of it. So I've yeah. sort of looked at it that way, and I've just been been knuffling down and getting things done. So yeah. That's brilliant. So, would you say you've changed your business or the way you run it and ran it during the pandemic and the changes that happened to everyone? Yeah, definitely, because we didn't have those 20 online workshops. They were delivered face-to-face. -face. So, it's, it's, it's changed in that way. And obviously, we um, are, are look to be keeping that as well now. That's brilliant. But that was going to be the next question, really. The things that you put in place now, are you going to continue to do it? And are you going to add that more as a, a forefront of what you offer? Yeah, well, one of the goals for the business was to develop online courses. Um, so I'm a knowledge broker. I basically um, extract my knowledge and put it into courses and then they sell online. So this time, what it's made me do is it's something that I'd started but hadn't fully done. So throughout the pandemic, I've been like, right, this is perfect. And that's what I'm going to carry on with forward after this is more of the online courses, yeah. definitely, yeah. So what positives? Obviously, you've, you're going to be taking a lot of positives from, from what happened. So share with us what positives 
are you going to take from the current situation and for the business in the future? Um, there's a lot of positive, obviously, like, you know, there's people ill and there's people struggling financially and stuff. Um, but for me, it's been a very, very positive experience. Um, it's it's made me get things get things done. Yeah. Really. Um I think the positives has been um I've seen how fast that we can pivot, how fast that we can adapt and 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 change. And also it's it's made me see a lot of the actual value of the business and um what our first our first sort of um what is it like our first, our first thought was, we need to help people quick. We need to help people quick. Oh yeah. And I think it's, I think watching people under pressure, and watching behaviours of people under pressure, obviously as study psychology, it's it's been a massive positive to see that for us the core values in that state of panic that we've all got worries and stress was to help people. So I think it's been it's just it's been a massive positive overall. Yeah. So how have you found it in yourself? Have you found the whole situation hard? Or have you thought, I've got my business that basically teaches you how to cope with situations like this. So have you implemented that in for yourself? And how have you found the whole situation? Well, the workshops was created I've used all the workshops. Most of the workshops I've used for over 10 years. I just haven't put them on a piece of paper. So it's all about um, how to cope with things you can and can't control, how to get those thoughts out on the worksheets. Um, yeah. It's also like what to do if you feel anxiety, you know, like a few key points. So everything, evaluating your life and things. So all of these workshops I've used myself. So personally, I made sure that through this time I've used them. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, and anything that I've needed or I've felt, oh, I feel a little bit of this, or I've created and developed something around it to help myself. I've yeah. used it to help myself first. I haven't just pulled them out of the sky. I've used them because I've struggled with things, you know. Yeah. And I've found challenges and, and things and things hard. And I've been like, how can I, how can I heal myself through this time? And then how can I pass it on to somebody else? So yeah. you've all been used for me personally. So yeah. Have you pushed the business more? On so social media? Sorry, what did you say? Have you pushed the business more or to be able to get more clients and stuff during the time that everyone now is in at home constantly that does need the help? Um I've only pushed the free services. I haven't pushed anything for financial gain um, at this time. Um, I mean, we've put up our, our new date for a retreat that we've got coming up in October, which a lot of people want to come on to like reevaluate things. Everyone's had a lot of time to go within now, haven't they? Yeah. Reevaluating their life, relationships, work, what they want, what makes them happy. You know, it's a great time for people to really start to get get to know themselves. But um, the only thing that we've pushed really is the is the free courses and. Um, We've just launched, funny enough, today, um, the all the workbooks have gone um, going live on Amazon on Monday. So it's being published on Monday. So that, that's great news. So that, that's, some, that's probably the only thing through this time that, you know. What we'll do is, if you give us the links and stuff, we'll put all the links on YouTube and on the the post when we share the video on social media and stuff. Oh, that'd be great. I can send you the link for the free courses as well for the adults and children. Yeah, no, send them across and we'll definitely put the links down for that. Oh, thank you. So, how can people find you? What what else do you offer when you're not in, when we're not all in lockdown? Yeah, um, so basically we offer workshops for children and adults, um, we offer retreats. We do online courses, and I also do. Um, I have a lot of. I have a lot of private clients as well, so I work a lot with people who want to gain some clarity and, and vision in their life, set new goals, and I work um, mainly. My past experiences. Um, I grew a national company, um, and I franchised it across the UK. 
So I've got a lot of experience in business. So a lot of my clients are, are, are large, a large business clients who, who run companies and stuff like that. So I do that as well, like private. That's brilliant. But anything like what you do, you can give us an example of. So someone watching the video now can go like, I can do that now and possibly look at what you can offer as a benefit and sign up with yourself. Okay, well, basically, the, the question would be, is what's the problem? That's all they need to ask themselves is, what's the problem? And I can guarantee if it's anything to do with your mind, I've got a solution. Okay. So it could be that they just don't know what they want or they, they struggle with routine or they procrastinate or they don't get things done or they've got no clarity or they're doing really well in the personal life, but the financial is terrible or they're doing really well within business, but they're suffering in the relationships. So it's basically asking what the problem is and then they, there'll be a solution in a, in a workshop. And if there's not, I'll make one. That's brilliant. So how can people find you on Facebook, your website and Instagram? Yeah, yeah. we're in um, Facebook, Instagram, it's Best Self Academy. Um, and our website's bestselfacademy.co.uk. Well, thank you very much for your time, Liz. Oh, thank you. Thanks a lot. All right. We'll talk to you soon and we'll try and arrange another chat after the lockdown and everything's lifted. And maybe when you do your courses and stuff to get feedback from your clients and stuff. Oh, yeah, that'd be brilliant. Thank you. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks, Liz. Okay. Bye. Bye.